All right, so we're doing more cover up rework stuff, I think. Yeah. I think that's what's in here. Looks like it. I believe so. <laughs> so we'll start uh, with the uh, first email. It says 30 year touch up. Holy cow. Um, hi guys, love your reactions. I've had a 30 year old tattoo reworked. Uh, gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. What did you guys think all the way from Yorkshire? And know first I want to say like the demographic of people that watch this show is always very strange to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> you got a little bit of everyone. Well, I would know. I, yeah, I would assume that it'd be mostly young people, but there does seem to be a lot of like older people that watch this too, for some reason. And that just doesn't seem typical, you know, but, uh, they got this tattoo and they're, I mean, they would have to be close to 50 or older, right? Uh, Realistically. I, am, I mean, so if they were able to get tattooed, let's say when they were 16, and this is, th yeah, for like 46. I mean, that's the I mean, absolute maybe. youngest. I think it's a good idea that they got rid of those flowers altogether. Yes, yes, <laughs> I agree. They look like weird, like aquatic creatures. You know what I mean? Like, like almost like starfish or something. Yeah, and I, yeah, this is a pretty like nice rework. Oh there yeah. There wasn't a lot that could be done with a lot of it, so. Well, um, I mean, they did a lot with most of it. Yeah, but I, I mean, like they like, <laughs> the the main features like they they did what they could with right like that that blurred out uh, chin line, they they fixed it the best way they could. Uh, um, what. What's amazing to me is they lost almost no negative space. Right. Like, they really just redid the tattoo. Yeah. Like, every part of it is kind of just like, we just did a new one. Yeah, we you know re-accentuated I mean? things that needed re-accentuating, and we uh, just added sharper lines back over there and uh, added some little bits and pieces to make it make sense. But also, like, that before is actually a lot better than it should be, too. <laughs> like not only is it like that tattoo aged pretty well for the ink that they used 30 years ago yeah and where tattooing was at at that time like that was actually a really nice tattoo at that time mm -hmm. like this is not like this isn't like like i would have been happy aging with that thing you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, holy shit. Yeah, I what think have that, I got on? <laughs> I'm, like, super impressed that that yellow was still existing, and so was that blue. Like, the artist who did this really, really got that in there. Yeah, like, this is not a knock on the art. I think the flowers are strange, but, like, everything was strange then. Right? Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> there's some degree of, like, insanity that happens in the there early was, 90s there and was tattoos. No, there was no formula for tattoos. Yeah. Well, I mean... There was, and there wasn't. Like, there was there was the formula of the time, which is almost like any tattoo is impressive. Right. So there wasn't really a bar of quality established, as far as I know. Not like, like we do now. And not like, because nothing was on the internet, right? So these guys but, weren't even really seeing each other's art, except for, like, maybe at conventions or something. Yeah, I mean, I really like the beadwork in the new one that they, they just covered over that, uh, the flowers. The, the thing is, is when your pigments are really old, you can really just do whatever you want over top of them. Yeah. <laughs> like what I was talking about with that tribal thing on that woman's neck. We just did another tattoo over it. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's not as hard as what people think. These, these inks are barely in there and, and you can really just do whatever you want. You can almost treat it like, um, unless there's a lot of scar tissue, you can almost treat it like there's no tattoo there. Almost. Like... They, I mean, they maybe could have, like, run over the face completely, but um, I think it would have been hard, to, the the blob of mouth and eyes, like, to, to fully get rid of that. Well, I'm I mean, happy that they just used them over yeah, again. Yeah, I don't think you could have done this same tattoo in a different position on this yes, tattoo. Yes, yes, yes. So like, that's what I was trying to clarify. You could have turned it into something else, too. Like, oh, yeah. Because it's pretty old. and Like, when we have no ink in the skin you put a line on there and it shows really clearly whereas like if you have an old tattoo it looks like there's something in there but there isn't much ink left there's a lot of ink that's broken down over the years and it's just that any amount of ink shows through pale skin you know mm -hmm. what i mean so like this tattoo if it was on me the before you wouldn't see it anymore oh yeah of you, course you know not. what i mean yeah so like it does there's a difference between like having a lot of ink in and not 
So eventually, this after might look something like that before. Oh yeah, eventually, like in, in like thirty thirty years, years like yeah. this could be very similar. Because like your your ink gets broken down yeah, and it moves that, apart, that's exactly which right. I think is like a really big thing. Uh, the ink spreads, right? Yeah, and the only reason why the before is standing so strong is because any amount of ink on skin will still show through to some degree. So awesome. So this is uh, the what this person started with versus what they've got. All right, so um, a peace sign yep. with some fallen out color. And then we've got a little email that says, hello, Jeremy and Kevin. <laughs> I am self, I'm a self-taught tattoo artist, one year in. This is a piece that my girlfriend let me learn on. It has been a long work in progress, and it's finally finished. Uh, fresh black and healed color. Much love, Jerry. Okay. Uh, let's see what this is. Um, okay. I mean, it doesn't look much different. Uh, I, I mean, he said that this color was healed, so I mean, the color is a lot better than it was his first go. Like, well, he, it didn't stay in the first go at all. I don't know that this is finished. Uh, I think there's a cover-up to come yet. <laughs> like this is the before still right i i don't know what i don't understand i'm confused um <laughs> honestly i think this guy's just trying to advertise his it, work on our page well that's fine <laughs> but like i don't even get it like, it's just the, not good the color is more solid and i guess it's a little less wobbly but it's still wobbly and yep. the color's still not really that solid. You're not there yet, I think, is what Remy's well, trying to tell you. Well, I would say don't get there, <laughs> right? I would say do something else. Do a full back piece and make this thing go away. I don't Stop think making the color stronger. I, I don't think they're capable of the full back piece No, yet. no, so then go to someone else that can. All right, but yeah. Oh, of course, but the... We're the, playing in the mud. The, 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 the person who sent in the email is the one who did the tattoo. I... Well, that's fine. On his girlfriend, I think, is what he said. Yeah, girlfriend, go to someone else and get a better yeah, tattoo. Yeah, this is um, this is like that episode of Simpsons when... Lisa gets gum in her hair, and everyone yeah. keeps telling her to put more shit in her hair. Eventually, she's got, like, an ice cream cone sitting on yeah, her head. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. Birds um, are pecking at her. Uh, I would let this go now. Yeah, and uh, maybe keep practicing on some, uh, some fake skin or something. I mean, it's nice that she's letting you do this, but I feel for her, because this is, like, a... This is just the beginning of another big cover-up. Yeah, and, like... Um, I hope she likes getting tattooed. Just to give you a few of your problems, uh, just so you know, this peace sign is so not even. Yeah. Uh, none of these little slices are even. Your lines are all different thickness. Your circle isn't yep. circular. Your lines at the top are blown out. Um, Doesn't read as a peace sign. <laughs> well, because it's a really screwed up peace sign. Like <sighs> it, it looks like a ghost <laughs> crying or something. It's it's. I mean. Seriously, yeah, you should have drawn this thing better on paper before you drew it on skin. If you cannot draw a perfect circle on skin, then don't. Uh, uh, on I, paper. I'm just, and don't. Yeah, I don't understand this yeah. at all. So <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Peace Sign. All right, so next one. Um, back tack two in the work. Okay, so this one is from Joseph, and it says, Still got two or three more sessions. Okay. Um, I'm filling in the bottom with two more characters and am touching or retouching the shading and highlights on the second session. Flames will be done one more time and the negative space in them filled in. I'm getting tattooed by uh, at Mark Toon in Gainesville, Florida. Nice call out for the artist. So this is what he's got. And again, that's not bad script. Yeah. Stayed pretty good. That was so, the uh, original there. Still yeah. not a fan of that kind of thing, but and this is uh, this is the outline that they did. What's happening? I like seeing this. I wish people would show these more often, like just the step by steps. So right? Yeah, I like the step by step. I already like the idea better. Lion work looks cool. Shading. Holy shit, we went dark. Yeah, this reminds me of like. Um, I mean, we kind of had to, but uh, old cartoons or like um, what's the game? 
Cuphead. Yeah, is it Cuphead? Because there's little cup guys down there. Yeah. Or does this guy just do that style? I, I don't know that this is Cuphead. I don't actually know. I'm, I haven't, like I said, never played it myself. Yeah, I see but a lot of people doing like that similar like uh, old be. tune style. So it's pretty pretty awesome. But yeah, I really like the, the solid black in this. Like they didn't need to go as dark as they did, but like it really, really does help. They needed two on the one shoulder yeah, to get rid of that script. Yeah, the only script, thing is, is they could have put that flame high and covered the rest of the script. Mm, yeah, I'm seeing like, that too. I'm a little bummed about it. That's really weird and something that has this much black. To, Bad placement. Well, just to, you should not be able to even just bring the black up. And But yeah, they should have had the edge of that fire go up just a little higher because yeah. there's no reason I should be able to see any of the old tattoo in this. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, this is, I mean, I really, I really like. Oh, fuck, it's awesome. I really like it. I've seen, um, there's a, there's an artist that does like Halloween ones of these and I'm always like, man, those are so cool. This is currently one of my favorite back pieces I've seen on here. Mm -hmm. My only like big bummer about this back piece is the ending, uh, the lower back ending of it. Well, it should go to the ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, always my thing. I'm just imagining it in, it's always sticking out of his pants like that. And yeah, you don't want to see the lines, you know, like yeah. you, you shouldn't see the, the break, but I mean, I love That's this. That's my nitpick. I love this tattoo. Mm -hmm. I would have liked it probably a little bit more if there had been color in it, especially since all of this imagery is very colorful. Oh, yeah, right? So, like, you could have done, like, some reds and some, some golds and places. And they said, what did they say? There's two or three more sessions left on the shading, right? I'm not sure, because I believe that I got these in parts. But oh. I don't know, because, like, this guy first sent this in October. Okay, okay. I don't so, this remember. is probably the finished product. Uh, it might be. It might be more to do. Like I said, though, it's disappointing you can see the cover-up. There was so little to cover up here. Mm -hmm. I And, like, I can turn a blind eye to this. But this could have been a 10 for me, and it said it's like an 8 or a 9. Yeah, I'm super bummed. I mean, as as Remy said, like they could have just moved that flame up, and that was totally on them. Mm -hmm. uh, their their placement just sucked, and they should have known. Just it but didn't, whatever. It wasn't like a total train wreck, but it no. definitely, like just a few things changed. I think this is a 10 slash 10 back piece. Yeah. It's currently one of my favorite back pieces yeah. or tattoos, I think we've it's had a, here it's pretty awesome the I use of negative space against love the style the line weights are nice oh man well the big chunky black lines do so much um the gray washes work really well for what it is they could have lost that hand so easily but they left that uh they left the skin breaks there and and sometimes i don't like skin breaks like that but in this case it really does make them pop mm -hmm. right and where they've left the background of that one puppet like negative yeah really does let him shine it does he would have been I lost agree. otherwise i think super cool yeah i like i love everything about this except you didn't get the cover up somehow oh, yes <laughs> and it should probably on other things. it should probably cover the ass yeah yeah go down a little farther <laughs> awesome